one of the most common cause of kidney disease, especially in this region, is diabetes um, and high blood pressure. Uh, but there are a number of other causes, including autoimmune disease, and taking certain medications could also uh, cause damage to your kidneys and cause kidney disease. If you have clinical evidence of kidney disease, uh, most likely both of your kidneys are affected. So to find out what caused your kidney disease, uh, we'll have a detailed interview um, in trying to discuss your history, um, examination, and a lot of uh, different investigations are done um, so that we can uh, find out what caused the problem and stop and treat it effectively. We want to make sure that we don't cause any further damage to the kidneys. That includes taking care of our, you know, diabetes is well controlled, high blood pressure is well controlled, uh, you're on the right medications, and uh, making sure you're not taking anything that harms the kidney. Most people would think that they would need to start dialysis right away when they have kidney disease, but most of the time, uh, dialysis is not required uh, until they have about 8% of kidney function that's remaining. So one of the objectives of this clinic is to uh, delay the onset of dialysis and uh, also to mentally and physically prepare you uh, for dialysis if and when you need it. Dialysis is designed to, to make you live longer while supporting your body's functions of the kidney that your kidneys aren't able to do. People do live longer when they're on dialysis. They are able to carry out their, you know, their regular activities at home, they're able to meet their families, they're able to be around their families um, and live happily.